In this video, I'm going to show you how to drill out for and install a deadbolt in a door. And we're going to do it right now. I recently installed this door in my basement. This is the bulkhead entrance and it does not have a spot for a deadbolt and I want one because I want to make this nice and secure. This is a steel door, so this video will work for steel doors and wood doors. So in order to figure out where the deadbolt's going to go, what I did was measured my back door that has a deadbolt on it and I just measured center to center of where the doorknob and the deadbolt are and that ended up being five and a half inches. So that is where I'm going to be putting the deadbolt. I'm going to use a jig to install this deadbolt and these are two examples. I'm going to actually use this one. This is a doorknob installation kit. It comes with everything you need really. The hole saws for the latch and for the deadbolt or doorknob, whichever you're doing. It actually comes with this auto strike locator. I am not going to use that because you may have one of these that doesn't have this. I'll show you a way that you can find out where to drill for the latch in the door jam without this. And the way it works is you just open this up, put it on the edge of the door, line it up where you measured for where your latch is going, put some screws in here, and it will guide you to drill your holes. This is set to a 2 and 3 eighths offset, which means how far it is from the edge of the door to the center of the deadbolt or the doorknob. You can change this to 2 and 3 quarter, but the standard is 2 and 3 eighths. You would just want to measure where your doorknob is and match it, but typically it's 2 and 3 eighths. I want to stop the video for a second right here and mention two things. First of all, you don't necessarily need one of these. You can just measure and make the hole that way, but this does make it easier. But if you are going to use one of these, go slow and think about what you're doing and don't rush like I did and do something like this. As you can see, the deadbolt's in here. I wanted to add this to the video because I'm not happy with what I did here. I put this jig on the door like this, and as I was drilling, I was putting pressure on the jam and I made these two marks right here. So use some cardboard or something if you are going to use a jig like that or don't press against the jam. And then this one right here was because I was showing how to find where to put this deadbolt and I put a little paint on here and that was stupid. So don't do that. That's it. Just those two things. Now I feel better admitting my mistakes. We can go on with the video. I get it lined up in the center like this, where that line is, wherever you want the deadbolt. And then you can put some screws in here temporarily to hold it in place. The screws that I put in here, they're going to line up with the latch that you're going to install afterwards. So you don't have to worry about putting useless holes in here. Install this one. You don't want to crank these down. This is plastic. This is just a guide for you. Now I have a two and an eighth hole saw with a pilot bit right here. Ideally, I would make this pilot bit a little shorter. I don't happen to have anything like that right now. As long as I'm center of this hole, it should be fine. And this will kind of guide me to put the hole where it needs to be. So just be careful and drill. Okay, so I am through there. I'm just gonna be really careful and hope that it doesn't catch on the metal and uh, mess it up. Should be fine, just go slow. Just put a little bit of pressure on it. All right, we're through the metal. Now I just wanna continue this through until the pilot bit comes out the other side. Okay, now I have my pilot hole that came through this side. 
and I can just get through the metal on this side just so that the whole saw doesn't come through and blow out this metal on this side. Pretty dull hole saw. I guess it's a good idea to get a new one or to use an old one for the very last time on something like this. If it's a wood door, it should go right through, no problem. Well, my blade's so dull that I think it's just kind of burning this right here. Um, but I think I'm through the metal. So I'm gonna try and get this little piece of metal off of the, the wood here. It's probably glued. There we go. There we go. Now I can cut this and you can use a one inch hole saw here, but I'm gonna use a paddle bit to get through here. Might make it easier. Just make sure I sink in right there and go nice and straight okay now i can take these screws out you have your two holes now you can line up the latch for the deadbolt just match it up to those screws and then we're gonna trace around here. It looks something like that. So now I need to mortise this out, which means basically just take off enough material so that this sinks in and it's flush with the door right here. You can use a router for this, but you might not have a router. So I'm gonna do it the way I would do it if I didn't have a router, which is with a knife, a chisel, and a hammer. And the reason I use a knife is I can get a nice precise line cut on the edges here, and then when you come up to the, the round spots right here, you can just kind of go around like this, dig the knife in, Yes, it takes longer than a router, but it gets the job done. Check it. That's actually pretty good. And make sure where it says up, you put that up. And with this, you can twist it, and that extends this right here. So if you had that bigger offset, the two and three quarters offset, that's what you would do is spin it, but this is two and three eighths right there. So up, going up, and put the short screws in here. And it's nice and flush against there. All right. So this is the key side and they made me pretty much put the doorknob in like this where the key goes this way and I don't like that. All of the <laughs> things in my house are like this. So what I could do is I could match it like this but then this is going to drive me crazy. The writing is right side up like that so this would drive me nuts. So I'm going to put it in like this which is how it should be in my book. Make sure this matches up here, like this. And you put this plate on, like this, the arrow facing up, the writing right there, and the arrow facing up. But you want to match this up, so I'm going to start right here, and then turn it, turn this here, like that. And then, can feed my big bolts in. Just gonna have to move this around. There we go. Make 
extend that out. Get that one started. Now I'm holding the keyed side with my other hand tight to the door. Now I can take a hand screwdriver and tighten these up. I don't want to use my drill just because if you go too tight and too fast, you could affect the way the mechanism works here. So you just want them snug, not super tight. Make sure it operates. Okay. Now we need to drill a hole there. Now to figure out where to put this hole, I have some paint and I'm just gonna get a little dab. You can also use lipstick or something like that. Anything that'll transfer over. Just gonna put a little dab right here. And cover that. Close the door. And that should have transferred over to the door jam, which it did. I'm going to match up my strike plate right here, center that, do the same thing I just did with the latch. Trace around here so I can mortise it out. I'm going to take a three quarter inch bit and make a hole here, make sure it's centered. Now before I go any further, I'm going to check, make sure the latch goes in there. It does, but it's pretty tight. So I might just have to round it out a little bit, but I want to go further than that anyways, so that the latch extends all the way. Let's check that. There we go. So if you're latch only goes to, let's say here, it's very easy that anything could just kind of make that go back. But if it's extended this way, it's much less likely. You can even feel it click right there so that it's fully extended. So you want to make sure that hole is deep enough. Good. Now we can mortise that out. I think that's going to work pretty good. I'm going to put the strike plate so that these bigger holes are further this way. That's where these really long screws are going to go in to catch a bunch of the framing uh, to make this more secure. But I am going to pre-drill all four of these. These ones, I'm just going to get through the door jam or door frame and then these big ones I go as far as I can go now I can put these short screws in Super long ones. I'm actually going to need a bigger bit for these. Make sure they're going in straight. We go get a number three Phillips. So if you needed to drill a hole and put a deadbolt in there, hopefully this video helps you out. If you want to see more of my videos, you can do so by clicking hereish and hereish. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. Thanks for watching.